Here with Chief Operations Officer at Star Valley Medical Center, Mike Hunsaker, here to talk about uh, patient satisfaction surveys that the medical center does. And there's a couple different ways that you do these, Mike. Go ahead and explain to us kind of the basis behind these surveys, the reason you do them, and, and the different types of surveys that the medical center is involved with. Okay, sure. Thank you, Duke. Uh, Star Valley Medical Center does four different patient satisfaction surveys. Um, here at this facility. We do one for our emergency department. So any, <clears throat> excuse me, anyone who attends the emergency department or, or is seen at the emergency department has an opportunity to take a survey as to how their service was there and if they were satisfied with their, their, their outcome. Outpatient surgery is another area where we do patient satisfaction uh, surveys uh, to try and determine how well we're doing in our outpatient surgery area. Uh, our inpatient stay, if you stay overnight in the hospital, you have an opportunity to take a survey to let us know how we're doing from the standpoint of having to stay in the hospital. And then the fourth one, the fourth area is our uh, physician's clinics. Uh, that includes orthopedics and our family practice clinics. Uh, we just recently started a few months ago surveying patients who go see our providers. And that gives, you know, pretty much everybody an opportunity to let us know how our providers are doing, how our staff is doing, and if they're satisfied with the service they get. As you know, it's pretty expensive to come to a hospital, and we want to make sure that we provide really good service to our patients. And the only way we can really do that, and I think hospitals learned a long time ago that if somebody tells you what you're doing wrong, that's the way you can improve. And and I think that's that's really what we're after is we're after that feedback so we can do process improvement here at Star Valley Medical Center and all of these areas so we can serve our patients and the residents of our community better. Well, Mike, as you've been able to collect this data, I understand you can kind of compare Star Valley Medical Center with some of the other hospitals in your region and, and around the Intermountain West. So, so tell us on some of these aspects and on some of the survey results, how does the medical center compare with uh, some of the other hospitals and a lot of time bigger hospitals? Sure, you know, we, we, uh, we have to use a third party to collect this data. The government doesn't trust us to collect it ourselves, which is probably a good thing. That makes it a, a really good, uh, honest, uh, good data that we can depend on to be accurate. And we compare ourselves, the company we use is called HealthStream, and they collect the data for us and make the contact with the patients. And uh, we compare with about 1,250 hospitals through HealthStream. So, so we can look at where we stand on any issue and compare ourselves to how other hospitals are doing and, and see where we land in that 1,250 group. So, so we're, uh, we're always excited to see how we do regionally, how we do inside the state of Wyoming, how we do uh, compared to northern Utah and eastern Idaho. And I'm really happy to say in most areas, we're very competitive from a patient satisfaction standpoint with uh, hospitals regionally and, and locally. When I say locally, I mean with St. John's, I mean with Bear Lake Memorial. Uh, with uh, Eastern Idaho Regional in Idaho Falls, uh, Logan Regional in Logan, we compare very favorably in our patient satisfaction scores with those hospitals. Talking again with Mike Hunsaker, Chief Operations Officer at Star Valley Medical Center. Mike, I understand that uh, there's different op or different ways to take these surveys as well, right? I mean, we're talking about the hospital looking at these as ways to improve. And so it's something that people want to take. A lot of time you hear a uh, survey, I don't want to mess with it, but um, some of these can be done over the phone, like a traditional phone survey. Others are a digital format and you can do it on your phone, but not have to talk to someone about it. So tell us about the, the different avenues that are available to take a survey. Sure. Thank you. We, we have uh, with our outpatient, our emergency department and our inpatient, those are all telephone surveys. And I'm sure over time those will change to where you may get an email with a link or a text message with a link so you can take the survey on your own time. Right now we're, we're testing when our physician's clinics, the email link and the text message link, and uh, we're trying to determine how uh, successful that will be. I know younger generations, they like to use their phone and take surveys on their own time. Uh, our older generations are not quite there yet. They're a little hesitant to give their email address to us, but 
we want the community to know that we don't use your information for anything other than to provide you with a survey and ask for your feedback. We don't, we don't use it for marketing. We don't use it or sell it to anybody. So just want to assure the public that, that we use those email addresses just for the surveys. Mike, as you've uh, sifted through the data on these surveys, what are some of the things that have jumped out to you in the administration here at the hospital that you'd like to improve on? What are some of the specific areas that you're thinking, you know, we could probably get some higher scores on this. Let's put some more effort on that. Yeah, you know, I, it changes over time, but one that's pretty constant that we, that we constantly feels like we have to do process improvement on is, uh, believe it or not, how quiet it is around the patient's room at night. You know, that's, that's kind of important if you're convalescing and uh, you would like it to be quiet at night when you're trying to sleep. Sometimes we could do a better job with that. Uh, of course, uh, there are areas in uh, discharge uh, information. So when you're discharged from the hospital, did we give you the right information so you know what you need to do when you get home? Uh, we have to work on that quite often. Uh, our communication, uh, nurse communication and physician communication is one that we consistently try and improve to make sure that we're communicating appropriately with, appropriately with our patients. Well, Mike, again, we appreciate your time. Anything else about the, uh, the patient satisfaction surveys that you'd like to mention? Yes, you know, we have, Duke, uh, the, the surveys that we do here, um, some of them, everybody gets an opportunity to take the survey, say the inpatient stay or the physician's clinic. But in out, outpatient surgery and emergency department, we're limited, limited on the number of people that get to take a survey. Um, so what we've done is uh, we have put boxes with feedback slips all around our facility. And it's kind of, uh, you've probably seen it in the newspaper, it's a want to hear from you program. So if anybody would like to provide us with feedback, they can get one of those slips by that box and we'd be glad to show you where, the, where those boxes are throughout our facilities. And you can write down your own feedback and prov provide that to us. And we look at that feedback and we make sure that we address every issue that is brought to us by a patient. So we're, we're happy to, to have those kinds of surveys given to us as well. It's Mike Hunsaker at Star Valley Medical Center.